Today we'll talk about how to get great images out of SketchUp quickly and easily. At first glance, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot you need to know in order to export an image out of SketchUp. But when you dig a little deeper, there's a lot you can learn about a few lesser known features that will help you greatly enhance the images you export. And what if I told you that the new Visualizer extension allows you to take amazing photos of your SketchUp models with just the click of a mouse? No settings required. If you need to present great images of your SketchUp models, you don't want to miss this tutorial. Remember, if you're looking for more in-depth SketchUp tutorials, head to sketchupschool.com. But for now, let's get started with this tutorial. So there are three main factors for getting great images out of SketchUp. The first is the style you apply to your model. The second are the effects that you apply to the model space. And then the third is what you do with the camera. So let's get started with the style. One of the easiest things to do in SketchUp is to change the style of the faces and edges in a model via the style window. With just a few clicks here, I've transformed my design into a black and white sketch. Now to refine the look, I'll try mixing in one of the sketchy edge presets. By changing only the edge settings, I'm able to preserve the background blue sky that's peeking through the windows here. And in less than a minute here, I have a fairly custom looking hand sketch of the model that I can export to an image. So adjusting the styles for your model is pretty straightforward, but there are some other options for lighting effects that you might not be aware of. So let's take a look at those. I'll start by turning the textures back on here again and then exporting another image. So this will be my before shot. Then I'll open up the shadows window. Now I'm not gonna turn on the shadows. Instead, I'm gonna check this box for use sun for shading. Notice now that I can adjust the levels for the darker parts of my image and the lighter parts of the image. Also, I can adjust the time of day and year to fine tune where the lighter parts and darker parts are hitting in my model. This is a great trick for adjusting the mood of an image. Now, I'll export an after image and compare the two. You can see that the new lighting definitely adds a lot of drama to the scene. Next, I'll navigate to the exterior and export another before image. Now I want to apply some effects to the model here, so I'll actually check the shadows on first. And then like before, I'll adjust the light and dark settings so that just a little sunlight feels like it's poking through some fog. So speaking of the fog, I'll add that too. Notice here that I can adjust how far away the fog is and how thick it is. And by doing this, I'm already adding a lot more depth to the scene. Finally, I'll export the after image and then compare it with the original. And there's quite a bit more depth to the foggy image here when you compare it to that first one that we took. All right, so we've taken a look at styles and also the effects that we can apply to our model. The last thing we need to look at is the camera. So first I'll go back inside to the interior and then I'll also turn on the shadows. Next I'll change the camera's field of view so that I have a wider angle lens. And look at how much bigger the room looks. It's just like one of those misleading hotel or real estate pictures now. Of course it feels like we're further away from the scene now. So I'll use the camera positioning tools to frame the image that I want. And then I'll export the after shot. You can see by comparing the pictures that amplifying the field of view can definitely help create a more dynamic perspective for your image. Okay, so fair enough. Those were some quick tips for how to export nicer images out of SketchUp. But now I want to show you how you can take a photo of your model using a brand new extension called Visualizer. I'll start by downloading the installer for the free trial of Visualizer from their website. Then I'll launch the installer and go through the steps. In my case, I have SketchUp open. So before I can use Visualizer, I'll also need to restart SketchUp. I'll go back to the exterior and then launch Visualizer by clicking on its tool icon. 
And you can see it's just like a smartphone camera. All I have to do is look through the viewfinder to see what's in my shot and then push the button here and I'll snap a beautiful photo that has realistic lighting. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. There must be a trick here. Alex must have spent some time setting up this model so that it would do this, but I didn't. That's what's really cool about Visualizer. It just works on any model. Basically, Visualizer only cares about the time of day and year in your model. And so just like a camera, it'll give you a picture of whatever it's looking at without the need to adjust any other settings in SketchUp. Now, like a camera, you can also do fun stuff like here I'll adjust the blur of the lens to create more depth in the photo. So I can focus on the front of the house and the back will blur. Or I can switch the focus to the back so that the front blurs out. The only real trick here is that the longer I wait to push this take a picture button, the more crisp the image will be. And Visualizer works great inside too. So I can go back here to the interior and just snap a photo of the room. And then I can also zoom in and pick a nice angle for a close up shot of this chair. Take a picture of it. And again, there are no extra settings or tricks here. It's as easy as using a smartphone camera to snap pictures of the design. Let's take a closer look at some of the photos from Visualizer and then compare them to the images we exported earlier out of SketchUp. With the exterior, we had set the time of day to morning. Now in SketchUp, the light color is pretty neutral, whereas here in the photo out of Visualizer, the light is warmer and softer, kind of like you'd expect it to be during the morning. Of course, these photos with focus blur add another layer of depth that just isn't possible with SketchUp alone. Now taking a look at the interior, the photos taken by Visualizer are much more realistic looking than the images exported out of SketchUp. The main thing that jumps out at me here is the realistic lighting. So if you look at the shadows, the edges are much softer in the Visualizer photos, and you can see the reflection coming off of the glass table here too. And if you look more closely, you'll notice that the materials or textures are actually being enhanced by Visualizer to look more like the real thing. If you're interested in Visualizer, you should give it a try. Go to getvisualizer.com to download and try the fully functioning version for free. And after the free trial, Visualizer costs just $19.99 for a full license. All right, so hopefully you got some useful tips for getting great images out of SketchUp. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.